Hi there, this is Jonas, and in this lesson we're going to cover return functions. Return functions is a simply a function that has a value that is being returned to the main function. For our program, we're going to calculate the area of the rectangle, then we're going to calculate the volume of the rectangle using two functions that have a return value. As you might remember, to calculate the area of the rectangle, we need two numbers, which is integer length, it might be double or wherever you want, and integer width. And let's assign values as well. So our width is going to be 5 and our length is going to be 4. To, to create a function that has a return value, the first thing that you want to do, you have to think about the type of the variable that you want to return. For example, you can create a function that returns a string, integer, double, character, or any other variable. So the first thing that you do, you have to write the type of the variable that you're returning. And in our case, it's going to be integer. So we write int. Then we have to give it a name. And let's call our function get area. And into our function, we're going to pass two variables, integer length and integer width. And let's call those int y, w, and int l. So this line is called function prototype. An actual function definition comes after the main. So we have to copy the name of the function again. Uh, with the variables and on the next line we're gonna open a curly brackets and our code is gonna be between those brackets to calculate the area of the rectangle we're gonna create a variable inside of our function and let's call it int uh, a as it stands for area and area is gonna be equal to as you remember the area of rectangle is width times length so we're going to say W times L. So this means we're sending some value to this function. Well, in our case, it's going to be 4 and 5. And we're saying A equals 4 times 5, which is 20. And to return 20 back to the main function, we have to write return. And we have to write some number. Or you can just say A. In this case, whatever number you're passing into your function, it's going to calculate and it's going to return the value of A. But you can say this as well. But in this case, whatever number you pass into the function, it's going to always return 20. So this is kind of stupid, so we're not going to do that. So we're going to just say A. And let's create a integer called area in the main. And as you know, the return function returns some number. So that means we can say this. We can say area equals get area. And we're going to pass the variables, which is width and length. What this line means is that we're saying area equals the function get area, and we're passing. 5 and 4 into the function then integer a a equals 4 times 5 which is 20 and this function returns 20 back to the main so this line means area equals 20 and let's display that area is area and let's add end line let's build and run this as you can see, the program worked. Now what we're going to do, we're going to create another return function that calculates the volume. So the type for for variety, let's let's say the type is going to be double. Double and we're going to call it get volume. And we're going to pass to 
to calculate the volume of the rectangle, we need area and we need height. Before doing that, let's create a double height and we're going to assign 6.67 to the height. So the height of the rectangle is going to be that. So we are to calculate the volume, we need height and area. And as you can see, our area is integer and our height is double. So first, we're going to pass the area. So we're going to say int a. And the second one, since height is double, we have to write double. And let's call it h. And for efficiency, let's just copy that. And let's create the function itself. So for this one, I want to make it a little bit different than this one. You can return the value of the volume just by saying return A times H. So this is simply, it's going to simply return the result of this operation, which is A times H. So A, as you remember, it was 20. So it's going to take 20 and it will multiply it by 6.67 if we call the function. And let's create a double variable to store our volume. And let's call it. So we're going to say volume equals get volume. And we're going to pass area and height. and uh, we can display that as well so we're gonna say volume is volume let's build around this and see what will happen as you can see the volume is one 133.4 uh, and it's not integer it's uh, type double I want you to notice that if we put this line of the code before area, it's going to be wrong because if we do that, on this line we're, we're calculating the area. And if we put this line before that one, that means we don't know the value of area. So the program is going to be wrong. And let's see what will happen if we do that, if we put the volume calculation first before the area. Yeah, as you can see, we calculated area correctly because we already know the length and width. But because when we were calling this function, the value of area was some random number. And as you can see, it was like a huge random number. And it is because I did not assign any number to it at the beginning. So if you don't do that, the value is going to be some random number and it's basically a trash so let's assign it to zero that way we know that we made a mistake and if we move this back it's gonna work again let's build around this yep as you can see it works that's pretty much it for the return functions thank you for watching